Hi, Eastside Nursery School. Good morning. It's time for group. Can you get ready to have group with me? Just get cozy and settled into your spot at your house. And let's get ready to sing. First, I think we should shake our shoulders and shake our knees or our legs. And now shake our hands and let's sing. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, up past chin and cheeks. Cover up those great big eyes and give a little peek. Good morning, everybody. Today is a really sunny and hot day at my house, and I bet it is at your house too. And so it had me thinking about the warm weather and the sunshine. So I thought I would read a book that reminds me of warm weather and sunshine, and then later we're gonna do a project using the sun and the sunlight. It's part science project and part art project. It's really neat, called Sun Prints and a Sundial. But first I wanted to read my book. This is called Ferry Boat Ride by Anne Rockwell. Why do you think it makes me think of sunshine? Probably because of the ocean. I like going to the ocean when it's warm out. So I'm gonna get nice and close so you can see the pictures. Ferry Boat Ride by Anne Rockwell, illustrated by Maggie Smith. On this page, they show lots of different things people might see near the ocean or during the summer. Our summer island is way out at sea, too far for any bridge to cross. That's why we take the ferry there. I'll meet you at the bow, my father says, as he waits his turn to back our car onto the ferry. Bow is what you call the front of a boat. Stern is what you call the back. Lots of people come aboard, bringing bicycles and backpacks, totes and duffels and coolers. A forklift brings heavy cartons aboard. We climb the port stairs to the upper deck. Port is the left side of the boat and starboard is the right. Our ferry is named the Juliana B. Boats are always called she, I don't know why. We watch as the last car drives aboard. Then the gate is shut across the ramp. I hear the Juliana B's engine start to rumble. I feel it throbbing below the deck. Water around the ferry swirls in circles. The captain blasts the whistle. A baby starts to cry when he hears that noise. That baby's so little, I'll bet he's never been on the ferry before. But I have. I've heard the captain give three blasts of the whistle announcing we're leaving the harbor every single summer since I was born. We decide to sit on the upper deck and my father finds us. Now we're underway. I stand at the starboard rail and watch as the captain steers the ferry carefully out of the harbor. Little sailboats are sailing in the cove. The lighthouse at the end of the long point is flashing. I put on my windbreaker and zip it up tight. The waves are bigger, for now we're out at sea. The triangular bow cuts through the water, turning it white and frothy. I wish I could see a whale. My mother says that she once did. It was swimming alongside the ferry when she was a little girl. But suddenly, I can't see anything. The horizon between sea and sky is gone. Our ferry is wrapped in a gray and fuzzy fog. Sea spray drips from the rail. The foghorn sounds, and somewhere another boat sounds her foghorn too. Another does, and then another. There must be lots of boats out there, but I can't see a single one. The radar antenna above the pilot house turns around and around telling our captain when other boats are near. The ferry rises and falls with the waves while the foghorn blows and blows. But now no foghorn answers us. We're all alone in this part of the sea. A wake of white water races alongside the ferry 
and I hear the loud swish of waves. Our foghorn goes on blowing, and from somewhere I finally hear a lone foghorn answer. A long, deep, muffled sound. A voice like fog. Suddenly, I see a smudge of white and a gleam of yellow. A lobster boat piled with traps looms out of the gray. People on deck wear bright yellow aprons. The bait boat wallows in the waves, drops a trap, then turns, trailing a long wake of water. Soon, something shimmers below me. No, it can't be. It's much too small to be a whale. I think it must be a school of little shiny silver fish, but it's not. It's sunshine. Just like that, the fog is gone. Far in the distance, I see something. Look, do you see it way off there? I point toward the horizon. Everyone comes to the rail to look. Our summer island rises from the blue and sparkling sea. Seagulls soar into the sunlight, squealing and mewing alongside the ferry. I toss a pretzel over the rail. One smart seagull catches it in midair. A big red buoy to starboard rises and falls with the waves in the wake of the boat, clanging its bell as it rocks. I can see the seaweed and mussels and barnacles clinging to the buoy's dark water line. Lots of things live hidden beneath the water. Even the whale I didn't see. The red buoy tells the captain we're entering the narrow channel that leads to the island's harbor. The engine grows quieter as the Juliana B slows down. Soon I can make out the beach where we swim, the old hotel where weekenders stay, and the lighthouse high on the bluff. From the port side, I see a bright green light at the end of the jetty. People fishing from the jetty wave to us. The captain blasts the whistle to tell the harbor master that we're going to dock. The ferry stops. For a moment, she is still and quiet while the water twirls around and around. Then the engine rumbles and roars again and the Juliana B turns all the way around. A ramp comes down with a clang and our stern lurches up to it. The engine stops for good this time. Everything is quiet except for the people on shore calling to the passengers on board the ferry. A crew tosses huge loops of rope around tall pilings rising from the water. Now the ferry boat is secured to shore. A seagull heads straight for the clam shack with the red and white awning that's up the hill from the parking lot. My father goes below deck to where the cars are. My mother and I watch them drive off the ferry. As soon as the very last car has bumped and rolled over and off the ramp, all the passengers go down the stairs. They take bicycles and backpacks, duffels, coolers, and totes ashore with them. The Juliana B is empty now. Our ferry looks very big in the little harbor. I sniff the island air. I love the way it smells, part like the sea and part like the gardens that grow on the land. Salt air always makes me hungry, my father says, as soon as my mother and I get into the car. How about you? Shall we stop for some clam cakes before we go to the cottage? Yes, we say. So that's exactly what we do. <laughs> that was Fairy Boat Ride. Does that book make you think about summertime? It makes me think about summertime. So now I'm going to take this phone outside and show you the projects that we're going to do today. Okay, hold on one moment. Okay, so now I'm outside and I wanted to show you a couple of the activities we're going to do today. And both of these activities are going to use sunlight or sunshine. The first thing I wanted to show you was this. I made a sundial out of a little bit of Play-Doh and a pencil and I put it on a piece of paper. Now, it seems like the sun moves across the sky during the day, doesn't it? Actually, the sun's not moving at all. Our earth is moving and we are moving, but it looks like the sun moves across our sky. And at different times of day, it makes different shadows and different shapes. So earlier today, I took my pencil and I traced the shadow of the pencil. And then I went out a little later, a little later, and it was here. 
and then it moved more and more and now look where it is if I can trace it now look at that it keeps moving and I noticed something else they've gotten a little bit longer as the day has gone by so a fun thing for you to do would be to make something just like this I taped my paper down to this table as I knew this table was going to be in the sunshine all day and I stuck some play-doh to my paper and I put a pencil in it and I just started outlining the shadow during the day so that's one fun thing you can do in the sunshine today another project I have is to make sun prints now for this, you're going to need some construction paper, just any old kind of colored paper. Over here, I made a picture out of pennies. I made it earlier today. So what I did was I put the pennies down in a pattern. Do you see that flower pattern? And it's been out here for a couple of hours now. And the first thing I want you to see is this. Do you see a difference in the colors? This paper is darker. I just took this out of my house and this one is lighter. But when I started out this morning, this paper was the same color as this paper. The sun has really strong, they call them rays or waves. The energy from the sun comes down to the earth in waves. And some of those waves are really strong and they can change the dyes in the paper. Now I kept these pennies here all day. Let's see what happens when I move them. <gasps> Do you see that? It made a picture. What happened was the pennies where they were covering up shaded the paper so the sun's rays or waves couldn't change the dye where it was giving it shade. Over here, I used just some blocks I have in my house and I was holding it down with a mug and look what happened. You can see the color of the paper was red and now it looks pink. And let's move these blocks. Look at, you can see the prints. So what you could do is you could make a pattern or a picture on some construction paper with blocks or with pennies, maybe with flowers or leaves and hold them down or tape them down. If you're using something really light that could blow away, maybe you could cover it up with a piece of um, a piece of saran wrap or plastic wrap so it doesn't blow away or tape your paper down and leave it for a couple of hours and see what happens. See if you can make a sun print and look here back at our sundial. You can see where just when I started talking I had traced it and already it looks like the shadow has moved a little bit. So that would be a fun project for you to see how the shadow moves during the day. Okay? Okay, I hope you liked those projects that we did today in the sunshine. I would love to see some of your prints that you make from the sun. And I hope you thought that was interesting making the sundial shadow prints with the pencil and the Play-Doh. Let me know what you think of the project and I hope I can see you soon. Bye.